Paritosh Nondi and his uh, excellent team members. I'm really proud uh, to be here. It's my proud privilege uh, to address in this particular first international conference organized by Dr. Nandi and his team. Uh, I got a mail three, uh, four months ago uh, from Dr. Nandi that we are going to organize an international conference on particular this theme. Would you be able to participate and send a group of students? I initially uh, informed, yes, I will. And after that, I was not in India, I was in abroad, I was in Russia. So for my academic work, I used to travel different parts of the globe and working from different universities of India and abroad. And when I heard that we, though they are not running any department, in tourism or in hospitality or in aviation or in service marketing they are going to organize an international conference really really we should appreciate it admit it and accept the endeavor of dr nandi now when i use the term tourism i say it so there are a lot of people they say it means information technology i of i really Dif, you know, differs with these IT terms. I say IT stands for Indian Tourism. So this Indian Tourism is everything for me, for the tourism student, for tourism scholar. And tourism in India is growing rapidly and tomorrow it will grow in such a place, in such a way that we would be able to attract the whole world to India. And we must accept these things. And when I heard that Dr. Nandi has selected a wonderful topic, sustainable tourism. So why sustainable tourism? And why sustainable tourism is very popular? Now in the entire globe, there are different, you know, sustainable goals mentioned here. 17 goals of sustainable tourism. And sustainable tourism benchmarking. So why, what is benchmark? So, so what are the objectives of benchmark? First, such a methodology should be able to detect the sustainability problems in a tourism destination. Now destination, what is a destination, tourist destination? Tourist destination compromises different resources, different assets. So this, these resources, we have to convert into product and product will go to market. So product development is there, then destination development will come and then marketing and promotion will come. So second, this using benchmarks and policy relevant indicators, the methodology should enable policymakers to take informed decisions and improve prospects for sustainable tourism development in the, in the respective countries. Now, resource of Bangladesh is not same like the resource of Sri Lanka. Resource of Sri Lanka is not same like the resource of Thailand. Resource of India is not same like the resource of other advanced countries, you know, in Europe or in America. So resource is different. So you cannot make Malda as a Darjeeling, or you cannot make Darjeeling as Uttar Pradesh. Or so diff there are different different issues. Geographical aspects are there. Topography is there. there. There are different aspects are there. So we have to realize that what resource is fit for which type of tourism product and how we can develop that type of tourism product. So accordingly, different organizations they are working seriously now. So this is a particular chart. So here in this chart, you will find different types of assets. The assets is linked with activity, and activity is linked with sustainable linkages. And my uh, very close friend, uh, Mr. Shaw, he informed about this particular term, leakage and uh, linkage. So what we have to give emphasis? We have to give emphasis to leakage or linkage. No, we have to minimize leakage. Suppose someone is coming from Europe, working here in a particular airlines or as a power launch. So it's a leakage from India, money is going to Europe. We need linkage so that all the best